Welcome everybody and thank you for joining us this evening. My name is Shannon Richardson and I'm the Pilot Program Manager for the Hunter New England Central Coast PHN. Um, I'm a social worker by background with most of my experience in domestic family violence and homelessness. Um, and I'm representing the PHN on behalf of the Domestic Family Violence Primary Care Pilot Project that's currently um, in, in place at the moment. I'm delighted to chair this evening's training, um, Domestic Family Violence, A Practice Nurse Perspective, and I'd like to thank HPMI for hosting and promoting this important work. I'd first like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land and pay my respects to elders past, present and emerging. I'd like to acknowledge that sovereignty was never ceded and it is and always will be and always was Aboriginal land. <clears throat> I'd also like to acknowledge the devastating impact that colonisation has had on traditional culture and the impact that this has had on the over-representation of Aboriginal women who experience domestic family violence in Australia. Uh, we have a fantastic group of presenters this evening and I cannot wait to introduce you to them. However, just a couple of housekeeping things first. So it's a small group that we have this evening, so we will allow questions throughout the session. Um, if you could please type your questions into the chat function on Zoom and I'll ask these to the presenters on your behalf. Um, as you'll be aware, the webinar is being recorded and will be available on the HPMI education website and also on the Hunter New England Central Coast PHN YouTube channel. Your audio and video are switched off, but we are keen to interact with you as much as possible. So please submit those questions as mentioned and, um, and uh, yeah, I will ask them on your behalf. There are no silly questions um, that are silly or stupid and the purpose of this evening is for us to share as much as we possibly can to assist you. Uh, we really want you to walk away with an increased knowledge and confidence to start the conversation with a patient who may be experiencing domestic family violence. If anybody is finding the information presented this evening trigger triggering, we do have support services listed in the presentation. However, please feel free, free to direct message me and I can provide you direct support services that you can contact. Um, HPMI will send an evaluation tomorrow via email. So please remember to fill out this evaluation. It's really helpful for us to know, um, you know how we can improve. Once this is done, you will receive your certificate of attendance that can be used for you to access your CBD points. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce our presenters this evening. So we've got Dr. Colette Hurrigan. Um, Dr. Colette is a um, women's health GP practicing on the Central Coast um, and has been for over 30 years. Colette's passionate about women's health and is the domestic family violence trainer for the PHN Domestic Family Violence Pilot Program. So welcome and thank you, Colette. Mm, thanks, Shannon. We also have co-presenting with Colette, Lisa Wade. Lisa is a practice nurse currently providing outreach services to women and children escaping violence on the Central Coast. And Lisa has a background in mental health nursing. Near the end of the session, I'll introduce Sue Ellen Moore. So Sue Ellen is the manager of the Newcastle Local Coordination Point, and she will talk to you today specifically about the Safer Pathways program and referral pathways so that your patients can receive the right support at the right time. So, um, I will um, sign off for a moment and um, our um, Phil will start to share the screen. And as mentioned, please, um, please feel free to ask questions throughout the presentation. Thank you. <laughs> 